Everybody knows the story about a sailor boat navigating through dangerous coastal waters, being the furthest away from home it can ever be. That was the story three years ago, when I made the video titled Halfway There. And now, that ship has finally returned to its home port, the Haven. But now let's rewind a bit, as this hasn't been easy, not at all. For you, looking at all this from front row seat, it might seem that the past six years have just passed by in a blink of an eye, and that my graduation was nothing short from obvious, but boy can I tell that it wasn't self-evident at all. Although I kind of enjoyed living in Riga, all of the time comes second to the fact that med school is like working two full-time jobs at once. Studying at RSU was an experience. I'm doubtful to say that it was incredible, but in a way I'm most certain I wouldn't have succeeded in any other university, as if it wasn't for the intense discipline honed by this university. Before the studies, I had been working in the military, going on a combat deployment to the crisis zone of Afghanistan, and later on a deployment to Iraq. In between those, I worked as a police officer. I found it important to bring this up, because the style of that line of work lines up perfectly with the demands of studying at RSU. There's no room for bullshit. Though, when you're in a constant fear of failing a class, you kind of wish for something more calming. Something more flexible. I am grateful to my supportive, soon-to-be wife who stood by my side throughout all of this time, and my friends and family who were on the other end of the phone line or the same Discord server, and Team Finland in our group. Without the support from all of you, I couldn't have done this. But now, I have finally graduated from med school in the class of 2023 of Riga Stradinch University. But now that it's all finished, the real work begins. I'm looking forward to start my residency in emergency medicine. The ER. Far-fetched dreams for the future are to be working in Finnhems, the Finnish rescue helicopter. Or alternatively, going back to my roots at the military, but this time as a doctor. But only time can tell how things will turn out. We'll see. And at the end of the day, when all of the hard work is done, I'll be running around with my camera in hand. Becoming a better filmmaker. Perhaps I'll move to a secluded cabin in northern Lapland and perfect my skills in cinematography. Who knows? I'm feeling good about this. I silently laugh at all the motivational quotes out there, but there's a truth to them. And one of them has struck with me through all this time. Whatever you're doing, always give it 100%, unless you're donating blood. For Yulia, I love you so much.